Is Detective Spencer around? No, oh, he's taking a personal day. Oh, okay. So I, I need the arrest report and the search warrant and all of the items that were seized from the place of business, and here's the case number. See what I can do. Thank you. What happened? Do you know what happened? It's okay, Alexis. It's okay. Let it out. No, it's not okay. It's okay. No, it's not. How do you guys always come equipped with tissue? Jax was like that. Where do you learn that in grade school or charm school? Thankfully, charm school never had to suffer through me. Your mother did a wonderful job. And we should get back to ours now, huh? People will start to talk. Why? Alexis, there's nothing going on between us, okay? If people want to think what they want to think, so what? Well, you're right. A moment between colleagues. I think we've uh, graduated to friends, don't you? I'm sorry, I lost it. It's okay. Friends can lose it with each other every now and then. Anyway, I think I'm being premature because I'm quite certain he isn't dead. <sighs> Do you know how many times I call him a day? No. A lot. So if something had happened to him, I would know that. So uh, he's not dead, because I would know. What I would like to know is uh, what you know, what happened. Look, we have reason to believe that the plane was tampered with, that the engine was disabled. Somehow, Jax You think somebody to get tried to kill him? At least trying to keep him from getting it started. Look, Alexis, I get that you don't want to go there. I get that. But we both know this has Sonny written all over it. You know, it's amazing how one careless, fleeting moment can affect you for the rest of your life. Sonny and me. Oh. I don't have any regret. I don't. I don't regret any of it because I would never trade Christina for anything in this world, but there certainly was a price to pay. I've paid it. My daughter has certainly paid it. So have all the myriad of other children he spawned in Port Charles. And that's exactly what Jax was trying to do. He was trying to protect Jocelyn. And I should have stood by him because his fear was very real. Is this a good place to jump in? Sure. Mm -hmm. No one knows, Alexis. Especially when it comes to parenting. Look, all we can do is our best and hope our kids turn out to be decent human beings in spite of us. Says the guy who raised two exceptional daughters. Should be three. What happened to Georgie wasn't your fault. Talk about the choices that change your life. I relive mine every day. Well, her life was cut painfully short, but you showed her nothing but love. I'm sure your daughters will say the same thing about you. Uh, hey, you know what? We never had that cup of coffee the other night. I think technically that was morning. Well, what about now? Oh my gosh. Your own coffee? <laughs> Not all cops inhale sludge and eat donuts 24-7. I didn't mean that. Just 98% of this. There we go. Try some of that. Besides, I had to overhaul my diet ever since I got shot. Only way to keep Robin and Maxie off my case. Listen, have I ever thanked you? I mean, properly thanked you. I was just doing my job. 
You saved my daughter's life. You're a hero, and if I could sew, I would have made you a cape, but I'm afraid it would have turned out looking like a, a just a blue tablecloth. <laughs> Marge, this is really good coffee. I would actually have a second cup. It's good. I'm full of surprises. Really? Mm-hmm. Brewing coffee isn't the half of it. <laughs> Come in. Ms. Davis, I have those uh, copies that you wanted. Thank you, David. The uh, mayor's holding on your extension, Chief. Good. Tell him to keep holding. Thank you. If you ever want a really good cup of coffee. I'm not talking about the coffee. I'm talking about the tissue and the shoulder. Thank you. I got it all. You're a hero, you know. Save the cape. It's too flashy for me. Mm.